First Samuel 10 And Shemuel took a flask of oil and poured it on his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because Yahuwah has anointed you leader over his inheritance? When you leave me today, you shall find two men by Raquel's tomb in the border of Benjamin at Selzak, and they shall say to you, The donkeys which you went to look for have been found. And see, your father has left the issue of the donkeys and is worrying about you, saying, What shall I do for my son? And you shall pass on from there and beyond, and shall come to the terebinth tree of Tabor. And three men going up to Alahim at Betal shall find you there, one bearing three young goats, another bearing three loaves of bread, and another bearing a skin of wine. And they shall greet you and give you two loaves of bread, which you shall accept from their hand. After that, go to the hill of Alahim, where the Philishti watch post is. And it shall be, when you have come there to the city, that you shall meet a group of prophets, coming down from the high place with a stringed instrument and a tambourine and a flute and a lyre before them, and they are prophesying. And the Ruach of Yahuwah shall come upon you, and you shall prophesy with them and be turned into another man. And it shall be, when these signs come to you, do for yourself as your hand finds to do, for Allahim is with you, and you shall go down before me to Gilgal. And see, I am coming down to you to slaughter burnt offerings and make peace offerings. Wait seven days till I come to you. Then I shall make known to you what you should do. And it came to be, when he had turned his back to go from Shemuel, that Allahim gave him another heart. And all those signs came on that day. And they came there to the hill and saw a group of prophets to meet him. And the Ruach of Allahim came upon him, and he prophesied in their midst. And it came to be, all who knew him formerly looked and saw that he prophesied among the prophets. So the people said to each other, What is this that has come upon the son of Kish? Is Shaul also among the prophets? And a man there answered and said, And who is their father? That is why it became a proverb, Is Shoal also among the prophets? And when he stopped prophesying, he went to the high place. And the uncle of Shaul asked him and his servant, Where did you go? And he said, To look for the donkeys. And when we saw that they were nowhere to be found, we went to Shemuel. And the uncle of Shaul said, Please inform me what Shemuel said to you. And Shaul said to his uncle, he informed us plainly that the donkeys had been found. But he did not disclose to him about the matter of the rain, what Shemuel had said. And Shemuel called the people together to Yahuwah at Mitzpah and said to the children of Yisrael, Thus said Yahuwah, the Allahim of Yisrael, I have brought Yisrael up out of Mitzrim and delivered you from the hand of the Mitzrim and from the hand of all rains and from those who oppressed you. And today you have rejected your Allahim, who himself delivered you out of all your evils and your distresses. And you have said to him, No, but set a king over us, and now present yourselves before Yahuwah, by your tribes and by your clans. And Shemuel brought near all the tribes of Yisharal, and the tribe of Benjamin was taken. Then he brought near the tribe of Benjamin by their clans, and the clan of Matri was taken and Shal, son of Chish, was taken. And when they sought him, he could not be found. And they asked again of Yahuwah, Has the man come here yet? And Yahuwah answered, See, he is hidden by the baggage. And they ran and brought him from there. And he stood in the midst of the people, and he was taller than any of the people from his shoulders and upwards. And Shemuel said to all the people, Do you see him whom Yahuwah has chosen? that there is no one like him among all the people. And all the people shouted and said, Let the king live! And Shemuel declared to the people the rulings of the reign and wrote it in a book and placed it before Yahuwah. And Shemuel sent all the people away, each to his house. And Shaul went to his house too, to Gibeah. And with him 
went brave men whose hearts Elohim had touched. But the sons of Belial said, What? Does this one save us? And they despised him and brought him no presents, but he kept silent 